What's up folks? Late Bloomer here. It is December 30th, 2014. Um, and I just wanted to share a little bit of how I feel uh, about something with you guys. So, uh, for the past five months, since August, I had this uh, girl roommate, female roommate. Um, so, you know, she used, she used to stay here. That's my room. That's, that was hers. She had all her shoes over there and stuff. Uh, that's obviously the bathroom. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, I had shared the apartment with a female roommate. Um, now, I've had, I've had other roommates here in the past. Most of them, actually all of them were male previously. This was my first time having a female roommate. Uh, she was a... I'm, I'm 31, and she was a young girl, comparatively speaking to me. She was only 21, and she was an Indian girl. Um, but uh, that's besides the point. Uh, what I wanted to say is, you know, it's so weird because I was never really interested in, in like, an Indian girl. But, uh, you know, as, as, when, as time passed, I, I, as I got to know her more, she got to know me more. But, you know, it was always, like, on a, just, like, a high and, you know, how you doing basis. But, uh, yeah, spending five months with a, with a female roommate, I, you know, it's so weird to say because I'm not really this kind of person uh, when it comes to um, uh, more of the business end, like, you know, like, being a roommate. Because I, you know, I do consider roommates friends, but, uh, you know, especially with, with, with uh, th on this occasion, it was, since she was of, of the opposite sex, I looked more of it as, as a, you know, like a business deal. Um, so I never really looked at her as, uh, you know, from the start as a, a potential, you know, close friend or whatever. But uh, anyway, I, I digress. What I wanted to say was, it's so weird because I never really thought of it until today when, you know, the day after she had moved out. But I'm feeling a little bit of separation anxiety. It's like so weird because I'm always so used to her being around, uh, you know, th the apartment. And uh, I'm always so used to her, you know, talking on the phone, like in her room. And just, just uh, you know, seeing her belongings and and uh, things around around the apartment. And now I just feel so, so kind of like... Uh, lonely in a sense and yeah I, I guess after spending five months which is essentially almost like half a year with her I, I guess I kind of got attached to her in a weird well not in a weird but like in a, in a sort of like a practical way because I never really thought about actually missing her until she actually moved out yesterday and I was like wow I felt this kind of like longing inside me like just to uh, want to see her again so you know uh, to be honest I, I did I guess I felt even though I'm 31 and she was only 21 me and her felt some sort of sexual attraction to each other but I'm proud to say that I, I, uh, I was actually able to resist you know trying to make a move on her and, and I was strong enough to keep it professional but um, you know it was a it was a it was a uh, an unusual dynamic because you know I was always used to having male roommates, and she she's she was my first female roommate, probably gonna be the first, and probably the last female roommate. Uh, you know, if I if I thinking about it now, she she's probably gonna be the last female roommate. But um, well, who knows? Anyway, I digress again. It's just, it's so weird. I'm, I'm not sure how you guys feel about your roommates, but, and how you guys feel about how, <laughs> I'm not sure how you guys feel or felt after they left, but it's so weird because I, this was a very unforeseen sort of emotion. Like, I'm, I, I'm, to be honest, I guess I'm going through a little bit of a, um, a separation anxiety, if you will. So... She was a nice girl. Uh, her name was Shraddha. She was an, Ind an Indian girl. 
10 years my junior. She was I'm 31, she's 21. And uh we had, we had a good time. Actually, it was she has been one of the best roommates I've had actually. Um cuz you know, she always listened to the house rules if you will. She always listened to me. Um she was I wouldn't say relatively quiet cuz she did make noise, but all in all, she was a very good roommate. And uh yeah, December 30th, 2014, one day before New Year's Eve, and maybe a day and a half before the New Year, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you, uh, and I'm also looking forward to um, celebrating New Year's Eve, I've actually got uh, a couple of New Year's Eve parties to attend, or I'm planning to attend rather, and uh, it should be good, alright folks, Light Bloomer. See you next time.